Hey everybody, this is Mr. Regner, and I was thinking about you know our upcoming math state test, uh, and how can I help you? And I was sort of thinking about you know sometimes you take a test and you can use a a cheat sheet with some of the answers on it, and oh man, that's so awesome because the answers are right there on that cheat sheet, right? Well, I can't promise you that you can use a cheat sheet for your state test, but we do have the next best thing, and it's what the state calls a reference sheet. So some of the information that maybe we normally would have to memorize or have locked in our brains, we don't have to do that because we have a reference sheet. So let's take a look at our reference sheet right now. So here it is. Now notice um, some of this information we've learned about, and maybe you have memorized it, and that's great but some of it's right here on the sheet. So for example, we don't need to memorize that there's 5,280 feet in a mile. It's there for us. Yards to feet, yards to inches, feet to inches, those units of measurement uh, for distance, they're right here on our reference sheet. Same thing with our units of measurement for weight, 16 ounces in a pound, we've got it. Same thing with our units for measurement for uh, quantity, right? We've got it right here. Now, some of you might like big G and you'll remember big G and you can use that if you'd like to, all right? You can write that out during the test, but all that information is right here for you. Now, we talked about the metric system and talking about, uh, you know, King Henry. King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Right here's our metric conversions, uh, simply put. We have kilometers to meters, meters to centimeters, centimeters to millimeters, same with kilograms to grams and liters to milliliters. Now that's going to be handy information for you, but if you want to use the King Henry uh, saying and you want to convert by just moving decimals around for the left or to the right, that might be an easier way for you. And then we have our measurement for time, 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute. Again, most of us kind of know that. But now at least we know we don't have to have it memorized for the test. It's going to be on the reference sheet. Finally, at the very bottom, check this out. King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk, right? We've got the metric system right there for us, which is kind of handy. So whenever you're converting with the metric system, you can move your decimals around. So if I'm converting from millimeters to meters, I would just move that decimal three times to the left, right? So this may be handy for you, and I want to make sure you're aware of it. It's our reference sheet that we can use as fifth graders taking the Ohio State test in math. I hope this is helpful for you, and you can expect to receive this as a piece of paper, an extra piece of paper to use during your state test coming up later on this year. I hope it's helpful.